guys, welcome back to Release the Craft and Priscilla here with another Mondo Rondo Grimoire share for you today. This was another commission that I had in my shop and I'm so excited it's finally done and I'm happy to share it with you guys today. Um, I can't remember what I did for my last film setup but this seems to be as high up as I can go without getting the gross parts of my desk, which I don't know why I call them gross, it's just paper, but it's everywhere. And uh, this is uh, as good as it's going to get, I think, for the video quality but um like i said commission grimoire really excited the themes for this one were galaxy astrology with an emphasis on aquarius and um crystals which was really fun and it allowed me to work with a color palette that i don't typically get to work with so look at that lots of blues and purples which was really fun it was nice to kind of get out of my typical element of brown and green which are my favorite colors so don't worry they're coming back um but it was fun to make this and i just had a really good time it took me a whole while to get this done um but i think it was worth it and i could probably still do more stuff to it but as you can see it's um it's full it's a full girl and uh if i do more to it then i'm like committing an act of treason against books because She's a big lady, and she doesn't need that kind of, uh, body shaming. You know, I don't, I don't need to add that on for her and make her feel even more concerned about herself. Um, going with the theme of my last one, which I think for these large ones I'm going to continue this theme, I'm calling this one the Stargazer. So, for the closure, I didn't actually attach this to the cover because, like a fool, <laughs> um... Two weeks ago, I was like, look at how thin this book is. It looks so nice and flat. It lays perfectly flat without any closure. So I'm not going to put a closure on it. And then I finished it and was like, why are you the way that you are? If you had done this in the first place, it would close. Um, so I had to add this at the last minute. I could still attach this to the cover. It's really not that hard. But I don't want to. <laughs> I don't feel like it needs it per se. But I like having the closure just in case, because I know that whoever gets this is going to fill it up with more stuff and it's going to get even more chunky. So this way, this closure has some room to grow. So, like I said, it's not attached. It's just sort of looped in here. This knot is arbitrary um, and can be redone so that there's more slack. And I kind of like that idea. Um, so, let's get up here. I could use the zoom function or I could, you know get my work out in. So for the cover, I uh, decorated up this wood piece. I used some of that Stickles glitter gel for the frame, painted stuff in gold and blue. Um, there's like, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's like an opalescent foil under here. I don't know if that's picking up at all. Um, oh, maybe there. So that's under there, and then it's all sealed down with a... Um, with glossy accents, and then there's a bunch of like little stones and crystals and jewels. There's stars in here. Hopefully that's in focus. But there's just a lot of really yummy texture in here, and I really love how this came out. This was a fun one to make for the spine. There's extra pieces of string, and this is really simple starry background. I didn't want the spine to like overshadow this fabric. Because I love this fabric, and was really debating on whether or not I should use it, but I think it looks really great and really matches the theme of the book. Um, so there is that. I think this is, well, it started out being like three and a quarter inch spine, but at full capacity, it sort of stretched out to like almost four inches. So there was room to grow in this book, and I am uh, glad that I compensated for that because grew, she did. So let's crack this open. We're almost at the five minute mark, so that's typical for me. As per usual, the book lays totally flat, really nicely. I use this fabric for the inside. I was almost gonna use this for the cover, but it seemed a little um, on the nose, and I like this fabric more. But it looks really nice on the inside and it matches the inside of the book, so I think it came together. So there's some space here for her to add her, like, Book of Shadows thing, her title, her name, whatever she wants to put here. I left that totally blank so she can add stuff here. This is a piece of tracing paper that I dyed. 
and then um, embossed on. And as you can see, we're hitting the crystal theme right away. There's some music paper. Thank you, April. And then every signature has a page like this, which I dyed and then tore. And by I dyed, I mean my mom dyed. Thank you, Mom. Um, and then I went around the edges with some, like, metallic, prismatic, color-changing, chameleon-style, I don't know what you call it. Um, color shift is the actual word. Uh, watercolor paint and two colors on each of them. This one's kind of hard to tell because they're both, like, translucent colors. Um, but there's two different ones on here promise. Um, watercolor paint, which I get from Hydracolor, and I'll link her shop down below. She has really beautiful paint, and um, I really love how these came out. They added such a cool effect to all the pages. Here is like a little crystal washi sticker, and then there's a pocket here, and in that pocket is a jumbo tag with some of the words, um, the space words from my shop. I used some from the astrology and some from the astronomy, and then um, stuck the other one in the back you'll see that. And then this is just a little tiny like book page uh, envelope that I thought makes like a really cool like little petition packet where you could like stick your petition and your little herbs in, seal that up and then you know either keep it or burn it however you wanted to do but I thought it was like a really cute little size for that kind of stuff or just storing stuff in also an option. And then I used a bunch of crystals and stuff. Oh, this is gonna bug me for the clips and I will link those um, in the description box below and then every there's like four of these that one's folded sorry but there are these little flip out pages oh I don't know what these are called waterfall sliding pocket things and that's got all the air signs and then like you could journal on the back of them if you wanted and I thought that was a fun element so there's four of those in the book and then I use pages from the moonlight kit in my shop back in frame and then there's this large fold out which has a washi sticker and won't focus there it goes so big jumbo writing space I colored all these pages after my mom dyed them and then some more of that kit I got this from a really cool book of like space art which was like this old vintage like um book of like concept art of space like they had art in there from like the 1880s all the way up to like the early 70s and the book was like made in 78 or something so it was a really cool book so I used a bunch of pages from that because it has really pretty artwork in it and then there are eight of these tags I went around the edges with that same watercolor paint and did all the moon phases so there's all eight including the new moon um, and I just stuck the little moon on a piece of printed out vellum which I printed some galaxy on and so they can journal on these tags, and they have the moon phase on there, and these were really fun to make. And I love how they came out. So a washi sticker there, and then the center of the signature. Oh, there's a cool paper clip. And one of those Hermelinda style tags that folds open. Oh, and I got those images from Calico Collage, to say. And then there's another hold up tag pocket and there's three of these little mini journals and they're all different well like they're all the same they have the same construction but they have different paper inside and I believe this is the one that's solely Aquarius themed and I thought that was a fun little touch it's got the tissue paper in there and these are fun like because you can just take these with you journal in them and then pop them back into your book of shadows so i really like those little books and then there is a triple belly land here with an extra large journaling card so you can stick the stuff in however you want and i'll hold a lot of stuff so i think that's cool thank you april for that idea it's a good way to use up scraps another page from the kit and then there is a vellum envelope with the aquarius uh, constellation stamped on it and embossed and then that's empty so she can tuck some stuff in there. This is just some black paper that I went over with Distress Oxides, which, fun fact, um, if you wet them, they're all going to turn out to be the same color no matter what color you use. Um, I forgot. So they all came out the same color, so I added on some uh, gold and silver ink-like splatters to give it sort of that starry, 
sort of look and I like how these came out even though I expected them to be multicolored. I do like how plain they came out and then I think that lends to like sticking down some paper to journal on or just going over it with like a gel pen. And then there is a pocket here. There's a journaling card from the kit. It's also from Calico Collage. I backed um, the sheet of the ladies on the sheet of like the designs and made little like ATC size journaling cards. And then I added some of the really large crystal printouts which come from a shop whose name I forgot, sorry. Um, I will link that below, but I, I left them like unstuck because I think they're large enough to like journal onto. So I thought that would be fun to journal on some of those. And then all of this paper. And there's little stars in here and some more crystal stickers. And then the second signature, so there's another moon phase. Some more bead stuff, and then there's an extra large like accordion style pocket here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, to stuck, stuck stuff in. To stick stuff in. Whew. And I just stuck a little crystal on the front. And then I made this little like bookmark paper book clip thing that's like a little shaker. So it's got like moons and stars inside. So I thought that was fun. And it'll stick like out of the book really high. <laughs> And um, this way you never lose your place. But I stuck it on this bag. Just because I, I didn't know where to put it. And then a really cool galaxy page. With some more of that um, painted edged paper. Gotta think of a better name for those. Washi sticker. Tons of writing space. She did say that she was going to write in her book. So I wanted to make sure I left a lot of writing space. These are rub-ons. But then also wanted to have space that she could like add stuff in really easily. So another journaling card, another giant crystal, and a large index style card from the kit with another washi sticker. I really like how these came out. Like this is like Milky Way kind of effect or vibe that I'm getting from this. There's some book page. Another one of those painted papers. This paper is so pretty. And then on this side is a little like cross hatched tuck pocket thing. I don't know. Um, this was inspired by Eva from Bohemian Crafting. And then there is another little booklet inside. Just so you guys can see that this one is in fact different. Some more rub-ons. Book page. This is actually an envelope. And some more of that dyed tracing paper. And then that just slides back in here. And this will actually hold quite a bit of stuff in it um, but I think this book fits in like perfectly and that wasn't intentional that was just accidental because I made it this size and then found out magically that they fit so this is a piece of um, this kind of material oh my gosh one day I'm gonna learn all the terms for everything and you guys are gonna be like who shot this video not Priscilla for sure um, and then this is the center of this signature with my favorite page from this kit like that. I was gonna like glue it down so it could be pockets, which is still an option, um, but I'm gonna leave that up to uh, the girl who gets this. There's a bunch of stenciling here, but I wanted to keep it like, I don't know, on theme. So I didn't use a bunch of random stencils, and I don't have that many space stencils, which I've learned, and that's kind of disappointing. Some little crystal beads here. Another washi sticker. This one has like planets hanging from strings, which is cool. Page, writing space. There's a large tag, which funnily enough matches that paper. Another paper clip. And then here's another crystal cut out on a fold-out page. And then this really cool, like, giant crystal. It's supposed to be like a the surface of Mercury. Mercury? Um, but I think this is really cool, and I was really excited to see this in that book, because it fits with the space crystals galaxy sort of theme and that was like unintentionally perfect so that was really cool I was excited for that um I tried to get all the like the planets that I could out of that book in there um they didn't have Pluto in there because I don't think they knew about Pluto at the time so that was a little sad um forever a planet to me another crystal sticker it's more stenciling and then there's a little pocket here with a tag and in the back it says make your own magic 
Joint Struggle. So that's a fun little window tag. This is like a piece of packaging that the um the little crystal stickers came in, but this was the inside of the package. Like the outside is like brown tea paper looking. And I was like, that's so boring. And then I opened up the little box and was like, what is this? There was magic inside. So I really love this little pocket. That was really fun. And just sort of an accidental surprise. This gorgeous sheet of paper. I was gonna put like a pocket here and I couldn't bring myself to do it because I love this paper so much. Another painted page. And then this is like some tissue paper that I got from a witchy box, Sugar Muses, um, that they used to wrap their paper. And I was gonna like do a bunch of collaging with it, but I just kind of like how it looks here. I'm like obsessed with this paper and I love it. And I really liked it as an insert. It can also be torn out and then use this collaging if she wants to do that. There is another one of these tracing papers with some embossing on there. Another cool crystal. I told myself I was going to make this video like two snacks long, and I can see that that's not the case. Um, so there is another flip up, and another journaling card, stuck down with this paper clip, and then another one of the moon face cards, and then there's two of these, and they're like little notepads, and you can't see how they attach, but they're attached with these little tiny like jump rings to the page, and that flips up. And there's some book paper in here, and just some cutoffs of like coffee dyed paper that I had left over. So I thought that was like a fun little element that you can journal on. And then of course these are little just jump rings, so those can be opened up, and you can take this out and take it with you somewhere, and jot your notes in, stick it back in. And I thought that was a fun little like addition to the book. And that was inspired by Catherine Scraps, who I will also try to remember to link below. And then on the back is some of the crystal, some writing paper, and I left this crystal free-floating to be journaled on. And on the back of this is a little, like, vellum shaker envelope with another one of those um, pieces from the Calico Collage kit that I just left loose in here. Because it looks cool when you see it through on the other side, but you could also journal on it and then stick it in there, and then it would be, like, a secret journaling spot. So that was fun to make. And then these are escaping, so I'll stick them down a little bit better. But they're little post-it note moons, little moon phases. So I thought that was fun. And there's a couple on there, so she can pull those off and then stick them around wherever she wants. And then here is a little bit of info on Aquarius, as well as an incense and oil recipe. And then on the inside is a pocket page. And I stuck the um, full sheet of moon words from my new moon magic word sheet which you can find in my shop, Shameless Self Promotion. Um, I will link that below. <laughs> so that's fun, and it's got all the moon phases, which I thought would be fun if she wanted to like tear those out and stick them onto the, um, the tags that I made, and that would be like a fun little activity if she wanted. Not something she has to do. Um, but I thought it went well with this book. And then there's some more of that really pretty space art. Love this color book page, washi stickers, another little bulb pin charm, and then there's some like holographic paper, and the full moon with a journaling card that tucks into this pocket. I should mention I used um, a couple different paper packs, mostly from Recollections. Um, this one's from Prima. Another flip up. And then there is another um, vellum galaxy envelope with a little tag stuck back there, and I knocked it off anyways. So I'll try again. And that's got like the moon embossed on it in gold. This big like chunk of amethyst behind it. I hope like the color shift is picking up on some of these. There's like a green blue color shift. I don't know how well that picks up on video though. I mean, I'm sure it picks up okay, but I don't know. There's a large index size card, crystal, small ATC journaling card. Some music paper with another crystal sticker on it. Love it. And the moon phase. This one I stuck with a little Aquarius pin charm. To this big giant amethyst paper. 
Oh, and on the back was this uh, little page that I got from April. And I just gessoed the inside so that can be journaled on. Or if you don't want to journal on it, you can seal it up and make it an official envelope. So, Wash Planet. Space Frog. Sorry, I couldn't resist that one. Um, and then this is the center of this signature, and it's like a four-way tuck spot. And it only goes like here. So there's a big giant tuck spot here. And I stuck these in sort of at odd angles so you could see how they stick in. I thought that was a fun little, like, element to this with a big star map in the middle. And there's like a big old crystal. Another sticker. And then this page also folds out. I have to put another sticker on there. So there's a big old fold out. There's a book page. Paper clip with a little journaling card on it. I love how she looks like in this galaxy backdrop. I thought that one was really nice. And I really like this kit from Calico Collage. And then there is a extra large tag here that I did some embossing on. It's also a holographic paper. And then this is like a tuck spot so something can be tucked in there. And then you can journal on the back. And that's another accordion bag style uh, pocket bag. I don't know what to call those. They have a name. Um, I'm sure. It's, an, it's a bag that I made out of paper. And there's another bullpen charm. This really funky looking crystal. And then there is another rub on. Some more of that space art. And then this is actually um, like collage paper that I got um, from Etsy seller like as a freebie. And I was gonna tear it up and collage with it, but it's actually really sturdy paper, so I thought it would make a really nice like journaling page. And then like I said, if she wanted to, she could tear this out and collage with it. But I really love it, and it's just really pretty like crystal pattern. It kind of looks a little bit like lapis. Um, so I don't know, I really like that, and I like how it's dense enough to, to use as writing paper. The little ball pin charm. Tiny crystal, and another one of those tags with this little charm stuck to it. There's the moon, and this giant crystal. I don't know. This one was cool. I like how this came out like that. It was like a bunch of vintage crystal images, and I really am obsessed with them, and I love them, and I'm gonna use them over and over. And then there's this really pretty page from that space art book. Another washi sticker. Center of this signature. With another one of those little, like, quotes from that word page thing. And then the last little journal dude. Stop sticking your tags and stuff before the glue dries. With another little fold-out tag. Oh, and this is, like, little cutoffs of that um, tracing paper that I dyed that I had left over, so I just embossed on the top of that. And then this one. Oh yeah, this one has the crow. I forgot what was in this one. This really pretty paper, which comes from Vibelicious is I think the name of the Etsy seller. I'll link that below too. They had really cool like paper packs for really reasonable prices. And then there is a second shaker envelope with another one of the journaling cards floating in there. So that just clips in here. And then I think this is the last one, question mark, of those little foldy ones. Waterfall flip thing. I don't I need to learn names for stuff. And this really pretty paper is like gemstone, but it's got like an astral like map pattern on the back. Which was neat. And then another one of those triple belly mans with a giant tag on the back. So I love that. Some of that tracing paper. I don't know if you'll see this one. I did this one in that um, distress glaze, like embossing glaze, but it's like a little crystal there. Other side of that kit page. Another little charm. And a little washi sticker of the moon. 
And then there is a big like chunk of amethyst with a little journaling card on it. <laughs> Some paper. <laughs> and then um, another one of those tags. This one's cool. I think you can see the color shift on this one. It's like pink to gold. Really pretty. And then this is like a a top end bottom loading tuck spot with also a little bit of room to like tuck some more stuff into. Struggle. But you can like tuck a whole sheet of paper like folded obviously uh, behind here. Where I just took some of the extra cards and stuff that I had. And some of the extra crystals. Some more of that tissue paper. And another embossed tracing paper page. Some more painted paper. And then here is that second little notepad flip up. And then some more of this, like, I really love how this came out. I did all of this with Distress Oxides, and I really love how, like, pretty they are. <laughs> I'm like, I really love this mottled effect. I'm obsessed. And it looks really great over the coffee dyed paper, so happy with that. Giant holograph paper. Um, there's another sheet in here that was like full straight up like holographic and that was the one I stuck that little cross pocket thing that held the book on it. Um, I couldn't bring myself to show the full sheet of that because it was intense to the eyes, but this one I left just as it is because I love it. <laughs> it's just such a fun effect. So there's some journaling cards tossed in here somewhere. Huh. And guess who got to the end of this book and then realized they weren't filming anymore? Me. <laughs> so, we'll just do this part again. So then there is some more of this really pretty galaxy artwork. There's a little rub on here, some music paper. The other side of that painted page. And then the last moon phase tag, which is the new moon. So of course there's nothing there. But I used this like black and purple color shift on it, which I really like. And I think is appropriate for this tag. And that's just stuck down with a little paperclip charm. And then there is a little gemstone to journal on. The rest of the tracing paper. Tracing. Tissue paper. I said it right the first time, I swear. Um, and then the last little bold pin charm with little rose quartz. And the last page of the book. And so then in the back here is another pocket. And I just stuck the um, full sheet of astrology words back here for her to use however she wants. Because um, the book was supposed to have like more of an emphasis on Aquarius. And I did a little bit of that stuff in here. But I wanted her to have um, some astrology terms that she could use um, as she fills up her book. Because it seems to be her jam. And then in the back is this envelope which I was like... Mostly just testing out this paint on because I just got this color shift and it's really pretty. Um, so it's nothing special. But in the envelope is everything I couldn't fit into the book. Um, so inside there are some tabs because you may have noticed that there are no page tabs. And the only reason for that is that I uh, forgot <laughs> to put them in here and realized when I looked to the left of my mess over here that I had cut these all out and then didn't put them anywhere. And I'd already sent her the picture of the completed book and then was like, well, now it's too late. So now she has some tabs that she can add in, which I think will kind of be better because then she gets to pick and choose what pages are more relevant to put tabs on. So that's in there. There's also some more washi stickers that I had left over that I pulled for this book. And then a bunch of the crystals I fussy cut out that um, I didn't get to use. And like I said, I have the digital shit, like sh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have the digital sheet, so um, I just gave her the extra little ones so that I didn't have them floating around for no reason, um, and I can print them up if I need more. And then also inside are a bunch of wax seals, which I didn't stick down anywhere because, um, like I said, she's going to be writing in the book, and so I didn't want them to uh, sort of get in the way of her writing um, or get like damaged by being written on top of. So they're in here so that she can use them and stick them down wherever she wants. She can seal up her envelopes with these or whatever. Um, but I thought that they were fun and I wanted to include them. But I just didn't stick them down because, like, she's going to write on them. And I didn't make her a writing board. So I figured that having them available to be used would be better than not having them at all. So that's back here at the back of the book. And that is all for me today. It's heavy. Wow. 
um, so yeah, that is our Stargazer, and I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through with me, and, um, I will catch you guys all in the next one. I appreciate your faces, and until next time, bye!